Look at my hat. My beanie. I blocked it. You already know this. And it is too flimsy now. Ah, uh, it's too big. And I will still, of course, keep it. But it's too big for my head now. I mean, I could probably wear it like a skater. Hold on. Doesn't look skater-esque yet. See, I could wear it like this. <laughs> but it's way too big now. So I think next time I'm just gonna block the tip of it so that I don't block the entire thing and it get too big. It's a learning experience, okay? It's my first time really making beanies that I want to wear. Anyway, hey guys, it's Vlogmas Day 20. And today, as I have been doing for the past few days, I will be working on my anchor sweater. I am on the sleeve part. I have not started it today. It is still morning. I am hoping to get to the ribbing and hopefully finish the entire sleeve today. We shall see. I might cake up my sock yarn for the next socks that I want to make next week, which is when I want to start on it. But we will see how things go based on when I finish this sweater because also I want to start another beanie and hope it doesn't come out like this. But this is fine, you know, I can, I, I will still wear this beanie. It's fine if it's loose and big, I don't mind at all. It can just fit on my head like this, like a ball. <laughs> Let me get to knitting. people. I have mail. I was expecting yarn, but I have two packages. This one is from Post Nord, which means it's my petite knit bag. It has to be. But first, let me open my yarn. I know it's yarn. It's a sock set. This is what it's packaged in. This is cute. Okay, it's a card, does it say anything? No, it's just cute. Okay, I feel like I'm opening an advent right now. <laughs> wow, I didn't even realize I got this color. I thought it was flip, I thought it was switched, but I am not mad at it. I'm gonna bring this closer. But I got this sock set because it was blue, okay? Except I thought this one was blue and this one was brown from looking at the pictures, but either way, I love it because you can see that this, even though it looks like a solid color to begin with, like if you didn't see this, it looks like a solid color, but it has like these dark tones in them. Basically this color all around inside of it, right here is like a little darker. Oh my gosh, okay, this is from Woolberry. Fiber Co. It is called the Berry Sock Set. It is 80-20. So 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 480 yards. 
And this is 120 grams. So I'm assuming together this is 480 yards. That's a lot. And the colorway is called Far Off Lands. This is dyed in Colorado, USA. Hand dyed in Colorado, USA. Let me show label. Oh my gosh. I always find that 8020 feels softer than 7525. Maybe because it is more merino than nylon and superwash merino is very very soft so either way this is gonna be oh, such a nice sock i'm so excited now to open up this one this bag it is from petite knit if you don't know petite knit sells bags project bags and she recently launched her second collection type so i bought one of the bags from her first collection yes this was the bag where's the front oh this is the bag from her from this is the bag from her first collection and i put my hat stuff in here like the yarn and everything in here for when I want to get ready to make another hat. And I used to put my socks in there, but I got another one. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my goodness. This is, what is in there? So this is just a postcard. I want to make this hat. Oh my gosh, like this hat is so freaking nice. I love beanies. Oh my gosh, I love beanies, okay. But this is how the bag comes. It comes all tied up, all nice and stuff. And I got the blue because of course, like I always say, I'm obsessed with blue, okay? And then it just has these tags, these tags on them. And this is what the bag is. Name, get your knit together bag, worker blue. And this is how big it is, whoa. Whoa, this is more sturdy than this one seems. Wow, okay, hold on. The inside, look at all these. Oh, you can't see all the pockets. Okay, let me, maybe if I go like this. You can see, maybe if I've just folded inside out. Like this, there are pockets lining the inside where you could put like all of your stuff all of your needles, all of your notions, everything. And they come in different sizes, smaller ones, bigger ones. Oh, it is so nice. And then that's just what the inside, the inside bottom looks like the outside of it with this texture here. But this is how big it is. It's a giant bucket bag, basically. Let me take this off. <laughs> Yeah. Woo! Jeez, that's tough. Yeah, yeah, it's about the same size, it seems. But this one is much sturdier, and I'll probably use this more because it is blue. Look at the cords. the The cord for this one is plain, but the cord on the cord on this one, oh my gosh, it looks so good. This is so nice. Brown and blue. These colors look great together. Now, I don't know what project I'll use this for. Low key, I want to use it for my hats. I think I'll do that. So sorry, first petite knit bag. But second petite knit bag, I love even more. Also, I was winding my yarn by hand using my Nostapena my hand winder and I got this but also tangled up my yarn so I will detangle this later I tied it together so that it wouldn't I tied this together so that it wouldn't continue to get tangled but when I make my hat I'll just use this ball it's a center pool it has a center pool Hallelujah. But yeah, I will use this ball first. And then if I need to use the rest of the yarn, then I will 
wind up the rest. But other than that, I am not worried. I love detangling yarn. There's just something so, how do you say it? Not refreshing, but satisfying, relaxing about the process of <laughs> untangling things. And I've always loved doing that ever since I was younger. And this is no different. So this is a pretty thick ball. I think I can get through like, I think I can get through like half of this before I run out of yarn. I plan to start this this week, depending on when I finish okay now this is empty when i finish my sweater so that is what i'll be using now this will just be on the side waiting for a project maybe i'll cast on i don't know what else to cast on to put this in here oh i will be doing a lot of sweaters next month so maybe oh my gosh it's so hard to pull this so maybe one of my starting projects could go in there yeah Okay, a sweater project, perfect. But yeah, that is my mail for today. Let's just have another look at this mm, beautiful yarn. If you guys can get a hand dyed yarn sock set, do it. If it's the only hand dyed yarn you get, get a sock set, you will not regret it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> guys, my sisters <laughs> are ending their videos and doing the advent together and they were gonna do it without me. I was not in the room and I come back and I see these two plotting with their things in their hands. You know what? I'm feeling like ending as well. I I feel like Kahila in her video. She says she's so tired. I didn't announce it. Like I didn't announce it. I didn't voice it, but I'm just watching like streams and YouTube videos and I'm falling asleep knitting. I'm like, bro, I am tired. Why am I tired? I got an adequate amount of sleep and everything but whatever i'm gonna end it here i will hopefully have more energy tomorrow but we're gonna do our advent it is day 20 yesterday's colorway what was yesterday's colorway pink is it the pink one? Oh no it was white mine turned white with blue speckles it barely had any pink in it so i'm not guessing what the next color is today will be a surprise okay are you ready, kids? I can't hear you. Ready? Okay, okay, okay. 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 Oh my god, let's pull 10 through right now. Me too. Alright, I have it up. Okay, okay. I said I will count to three, we'll count to one. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> I'm so underwhelmed. Okay, I like this because it actually fades. Oh God, it's yeah. actually fading. At least yeah, mine is. is. Are y'all fading? Yeah. I mean, mine is fading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my own um, yesterday was white with like pink. This is what it looks like. There are some yellow spots like hold on here around that area some at the top and it really looks like yesterday's color with just a little more color which i like like this is what this this is a fade okay but it's toward the end it's kind of too late to start well okay i guess it's not too late there are five more days left to open so maybe it will go out with a bang just like it started with a bang but i like when i see that it's starting to do its nice fading thing so let me show you yesterday's colorway and today's colorway from you know the bird's eye point of view okay this is yesterday's colorway and today's colorway they look so similar i need to make sure i don't swap them okay i think i'll be able to tell them apart because this one doesn't really have yellow in it but this one, it has a lot more of the yellow. So maybe tomorrow's color will be more yellow. There are a lot more pink spots in this. But I assumed since there were... It's so hard to see sometimes. There were some darker pink spots in yesterday's color. Yeah. This is how it's fading. It's kind of bright right here. But like yesterday, I'm not going to guess tomorrow's color because I have no clue where this is going. But we will see. That is all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this bag. I'm ready to... 
knit this hat like right now just so I can use this bag. Also with the blocking of the hat, I'm not going to block the entire hat next time. I will just block the tip, like the top point and stretch that out because I really do not like how it turned out. Or maybe I just won't block it at all, okay? I'll just have a cone head or something. We will see. I don't know how I'll feel about that. But I know I'm not going to block the entire thing again. That was just horrendous. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. Which is tomorrow. Wow. Bye. <laughs>